です。We are back with round three and、uh, guys, 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 guys. I have searched high and low. Like Joe and I really, really dug into these deck lists to find you something that's that. Undefeated and isn't top cool, and we found one Zamasu in a sea of red, so we had to bring you the Zamasu. Yeah,、so、you guys asked for blue. We found some very exciting blue deck here. We found Zamasu. Unfortunately, it's playing top cool again. We can't get away from it. There's no hiding.、Yeah. Um, but Zamasu is really, really interesting.、Um, it's a 25k base when awakened.、Mm -hmm. You don't draw a card on swing. But for those you don't know, you have an activate main effect where you tap an energy, you discard a card, and if your life is on two or less, you just get to add the top card of your deck to your life. Very thematic for what Zamasu is in the show,、um, but also a really good way of tempering pressure early on from a、uh, later on from a really aggressive deck.、Um, you technically are drawing as well because you get to add that life to your hand when your opponent attacks. So you do kind of have a way of maintaining cards.、Um, But we kind of theorized this might be a tricky game for Zamasu,、um, didn't we, Damian? Yeah. yeah, especially when once Zamasu gets to two, then it's yeah, then Goku starts throwing rebriands your way, and yeah, it, it starts being bad. But even Zamasu can stabilize and go into the late game, and then let's say、uh, survive a heavier. A heavier turn from top coin, then just wipe the board. He might, he might get away with it. He might. Yeah. There's there's two key cards I think to kind of helping、mm. him gain gain advantage in this matchup. Early game, I'm going to be looking at the activate main extra card, Sinister Sickle.、Um, so what you get to do is you get to choose up to two of your opponent's battle cards, four or less, place them at the bottom of the owner's deck in any order, and it costs three energy. So. Earlier on, that's going to be a great way of clearing up these wide boards、mm -hmm. um, when Topku starts aggressively taking life and starts spewing Keflers onto the board.、Yeah. The other card later on is the six-drop Zeno that chooses all cards in the battle areas other than itself and places them at the bottom of the deck in a random order.、Um, if we see these in the list,、uh, where we can in fact see the Zeno and the energy quite early、yes. on here anyway.、Um, It, they're going to be really important pieces to,、uh, you know, let Goku spend its hand, place everything on the board, and then just use the Zeno to shuffle everything back, then discard, gain a life,、mm -hmm. um, and you'll be sitting pretty happy at that point and force them to keep on rebuilding the board.、Um, but it's getting there is the thing.、Mm -hmm. You can see here already, Top Ku's down to four life、yes. uh, and passing over to their turn because Zamasu's away,、um, attacked a couple of times in a row. Um, I, and that's kind of been a theme we've been looking at, hasn't it? Yeah, I don't, I don't agree with this in a way because if you're playing Zamasu, you know you're playing a control deck, right? If this is a control shell,、uh, you don't want to force the aggro deck to awaken as fast as possible. But we will see, we will see. Maybe、uh, this is the first time that we are seeing Zamasu. We don't know any of. The highly successful list so far, so we're just theorizing here. Who knows what we're gonna be seeing? Who knows how the deck is built? We can see Pilaf in hand. We see the Vegito as well. So、uh, gonna be just comboing out with the Pilaf here. Oh, and Katopesla comes down, gets gets、uh, gives Trunks the minus swings, just gets rid of it. Interesting targets down the trunk、mm -hmm. so much here.、Um, Zamasu still on a really healthy amount of life over there as well, and、uh, um, directing so many attacks at the trunk. Yeah, it represents a, a, a body on board.、Um, but when you're playing Topku, you want to be like hitting a deck like Zamasu that wants to get as late as possible in the game and have as much energy to use these cards that stabilize and clear the board.、Mm -hmm. And I would. Theorize anyway that、um, uh, as top coup, you want to be hitting the life there as quickly as possible, especially where you have the crit Khalifa.、Um, but now you've put these battle cards in rest mode, you've not targeted the life down, and now there's targets for the Zamasu leaders to just swing at, get that card, and not push the awaken here. So you're going to have to find another card to try and awaken on your following turn.、Um, but interesting play. We'll see how this one pans out. 
Yeah, so I see some questions. So uh, any blue BG tattoo wall, uh, we didn't find any. Uh, we didn't go through all of the lists, but we got... We go. We went through a couple of tables and it was just Zamasu and a bunch of top coups. There are some Beeruses which are undefeated, but uh, as I wrote in the chat, it, the room is mostly red. It's... Yeah. It's sorry, mostly guys. red with uh, top coups. Um, really cool play here as well. So this Vegito mm -hmm. um, is kind of what we're seeing, like such a bounce back from blue over. Um, it's a three cost. And if you have seven or fewer cards in your hand, you reduce the cost of your opponent's battle cards in the battle area by one. And then on play, you can choose one of your opponent's battle cards with a cost of one or less and place it at the bottom of the deck. So effectively, you have a two cost removal in a 25k body. Mm -hmm. And that permanent effect then applies to the rest of your cards. So if you have costed removal, for example, in your Sinister Sickle, all of a sudden you can now bottom deck five costs or less. Um, so the longer the Vegito stays here, um, the more ability it has over the game and uh, quite wisely chooses not to attack with it, force Topku to find another self-awakening tool, and now Zamasu's really happy taking that life, um, ready to play another kind of uh, board white yep. big bot next turn into this flood turn from Topku. Yeah, but Topku has now awakened and he's going to start getting a lot of value from the swings here. Just another attack minusing the Vegito again by minus 15. Double go Han will do yeah. it to you. And then he has yeah. to take the up here as well. This is just how good top top coup is though, isn't it? It's like I've sat there and gone, yeah, he keep the Vegito inactive, he can save it and he can keep it to have extra value. Top Q just goes, not interested. Double go Han, get it off yeah. the board and I've attacked you four times as well. <laughs> It's it's rather unfortunate for Zamasu as we keep saying, like he he played it well, he did get rid of the board like last turn. Uh, the Vegito got its value. But once Topku awakens, it's so punishing. And that's Absolutely. exactly what we can see here. It's really, really punishing. Now I wonder what we'll see on the fire back here. Again, this is a perfect turn for Sinister Sickle. You're gonna get rid of two of these cards and then your leader can swing into the other one. Maybe you want to combo up to clear it, but dealing with one battle card is going to be easier than three, right? Yeah, definitely. So, let's see. Are we going to be seeing the sickle here? Well, I think yes. He's going to be... He is contemplating He's paying four. four energy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he wants it. Leader swing first. Let's see okay, extra yeah. cards we want to do. Yeah, that's okay. Swing, you draw a card. Let's see. Are there going to be any combos here? And Zamasu does have to be on three life to awaken as well. Yes. So he doesn't have the option to awaken to boost his power here. So he is going to combo a Zeno here. Okay, is so this is... the energy and another one combo yeah, here? This is the second Zeno that we are seeing. So this either... This tells me one of two things. Uh, he either isn't confident that he will go all the way into uh, turn six to be able to use it. Or he might be running three copies. I would not be shocked if the deck was running free copies especially if it's one of those like okay this is very late game build like i want to get into late game and just control your board wipe it constantly um or he's just seeing the exceptionally high amount of pressure coming in from the goku and he's like okay i don't think that i can really win by turn six like i need to maybe play a bit proactively like maybe try to close the game a bit sooner so, uh, yeah, because unlike Zamasu, uh, Topku draws when he awakens. And Zamasu is just kind of stuck on the same hand size. Fair, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Um, the cool thing about the Zeno, although I will point out, is it is a 10k combo. So you wouldn't, you know, even though it's a late game card, I wouldn't be surprised to see three or even four copies in the deck just because it is so valuable as the 10k combo at the beginning of the game for this early aggression. And you really want to, you know, this board's just got wide again, even after the leader swing cleared the battle mm. card and the sinister sickle cleared the other two. There's three battle cards there again and still a handful of cards. So Zamasu is going to need another answer. He is finally at the awakened turn, though. So he's going to be able to flip over and go to 25. Um, and as you can see there, because of the 25k base, we've already had to combo an extra card from the top coup side just to kind of apply that extra pressure here. Yeah, and Zamasu is just going to be comboing one to get out of it. Because, yeah, 25 
does a good job against uh, Top Kuhu's whose majority of the cards are 20k. Like 90% of them are 20k. So it's going to at least force Top Ku to diminish his hand size a bit. But also the problem is once Top Ku starts comboing out, you will also need to start comboing in defense. And Zamasu doesn't draw, so uh, yeah, if he doesn't deal damage, he is ripping your hand away. Yeah, and I wonder whether we'll see. So he's at six, so like with the energy marker, so he could zero this turn. But a 25k leader swing into one of these battle cards, another sinister sickle again, um, kind of represents a decent amount of value for the turn. But again, you're being, you're 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 preventing yourself from losing the game. Are you establishing enough for board? to be able to win yep. the game. That's kind of the and key thing. We see him spend all six, and that is a Goku Black. Okay. It's going to be Goku Black. There is a uh, four-cost Gotenks in the drop here. He got, yep. uh, Zamasu got it in the drop a bit earlier. So he's going to add that to hand, and then yep. if he's got seven or less when he swings with the Goku Black, he's just going to be able to play that from his hand. Or the Vegito that we saw earlier as well is another great target for this card. Um... The leader Swing and the Goku Black might themselves be able to clear this board and actually establish his own board at the same time as well, which is crucially what we're looking for from the Zamasu player. All right, so here's a swing. And of course, Gotenks comes down, grabs the two cards. It's going to be extra combo power. Topku using the super combo to get out of it. The super combo gone, and our leader swing into the Kepler again. But protecting the board is a really good play here. I really like this because by spending all six energy on the Goku Black, you're effectively saying, and after he's played the Gotenks as well, he's effectively going, I have no removal that I can outrightly kill these cards with. So the only way I'm clearing these cards is by attacking them and getting the attack through, which quite handily, by spending one super combo to get out of, you now have another two to three swings coming in next mm -hmm. turn um, that you've successfully defended against here. Um, and even if you keep one of these battle cards alive, the amount that you can flood back to the board as the top two player um, puts you in the driving seat, especially when Zamasu sat at three lives and any one of these attacks getting through, followed up by a Ribrian with a hand dump, could just kill him before he even gets a chance to use his leader effect. Yeah. We see Toku now on three, going into his turn. Uh, we'll see, we'll see what's gonna happen. Uh, yeah, like you said, Ribrian for one energy. You once you get him down to two lives, you just swing Ribrian. It's a double. Uh, because Ribrian is also a card with combo power. Toku is running multiples of them. Some lists run three, some lists run four. And we so, see him just come after the board again here. Yeah. Gets rid of the Gotenks. Does he want to like have a few minus effects to deal with the Goku Black? Again, mm -hmm. it's one of those big battle cards that without multiple cards investment, Topku really struggles to uh, clear uh, effectively. Um, so again, we've got another minus here from the Gohan. Minus is it by 15. And is this a swing going into the Goku Black mm -hmm. as well after the minus 15? Uh, it's uh, minus 15 on the swing, yeah. Yeah, so he's looking to like kind of again, we, we've used all his energy up, so he's looking to use the battle cards to pressure the Goku Black. This gives you a really good chance to just combo out of these swings if you can keep the Goku Black alive next turn, followed up with an extra card mm -hmm. room like Sinister Sickle. Again, gives you that chance of getting the tempo back in this game because yeah, top two. Is such a menace, it keeps the tempo by constantly spewing out these fields of battle cards. Um, and the one chance you've got of getting it back is using this chance to keep your battle card, mm -hmm. then use a way to clear the board, and then have your battle cards established on the board and leave them with nothing. Has to let the Goku Black go though, because you can it's see his hand be... is getting really low from defending. That's gonna be really painful now that Goku Black is gone, hand is low to defend it. There are no card draws coming in from Zamasu Swing. He's forced to go down to two. Yes, he can. Uh, technically, he can heal and he can get the card back. But still, that's not really draw and as long as you are allowing yourselves uh, yourself to go down to two 
you are always risking uh, Goku just dropping a Ribrienne at you. So, uh, yeah. So, so let's see. didn't swing with the Gohan there, actually, because, yeah, you have that extra swing that puts him down to two, and then you kind of just pass there, and Zamasu is a little bit, like, quite, quite happy with that, because you kind of just go, okay, I'm going to tap my one and heal back my life to three. Admittedly, I don't think he's still in the best position, as you've quite rightly explained there. He's in, he's in very low on hand size anyway, mm -hmm. uh, in quite a tricky spot. But that could have been like that extra little bit of pressure to make the kill turn easier for Topku on the next turn. We'll see what happens here, but Topku very much in control anyway. Yeah, I, I don't want to say it, but deck looks pretty unstoppable. <laughs> well, we did see Cell beat it, literally last turn. So I will be keeping an eye on uh, how Cell is, how the Cell player is doing through the tournament. It would be cool to see uh, Cell again later on, if he remains yeah. undefeated, of course. We hope to see some green, some blue or yellow, or honestly anything which isn't top Topku a bit later on in the tournament. We're going to stave off the mirror matches as much as we possibly can until then, but there is a slight sign of inevitability mm. when we were looking at it with the deck list earlier, wasn't there, David? Yeah. So I, I see some familiar faces here. Hello, everyone. We we have some of our usual viewers here. Uh, how is Amasu doing in the meta? Well, Miyamoto about as well as in Masters. So <laughs> we see a Sinister Sickle come down. Let We're going to be seeing some removal here. Yeah, go Go away, go to the bottom. Uh, no more swings coming in at the moment. But yeah, you just pay the energy. And uh, let's see. What's he going to be playing here? Heal. He's yeah, just going to be healing one. Topko still has a very, very healthy hand size. Yeah, it doesn't even need to charge here as well. Yeah. Just passes up on it. The free card just to swing into the trunks. He's not going to defend this ever. So you just get that extra card to look and go right. Mm. How to sequence this turn to get the kill? Um, Basil's going to check, so it looks like he's going to try and dig. I mean, if he can dig out on the Kefla here as well, that's just going to be, I think, oh. quite breaking. Or oh, Ribrian is oh. there as well. So yeah, this is this is going to be very very painful now, uh, <laughs> especially if <laughs> he know. has another Kefla in hand and then just follow up with the Ribrian to get two big attackers. We'll see. Yeah, so in. first just take, yeah. Swing, Unless you've got combo. Super combo. There we go. Mm -hmm. Tanks the super combo out. You've still got three energy. Um whether you spend two here to go into another attack. Goes into the hit. Combo enough on top of here that he has to take it. Like if he's only got one card mm -hmm. and you get yep. rid of a super combo here or he has to take it, Ooh. he does leader effect and... Ribrian. Yeah, Here's and the cards. What we're gonna be seeing here is just leader effect. Ribri and Dumb Hand win. So, I believe that's what we're just seeing here. Just pay one, Ribri and Dumb Hand, and that's it. We know Zamasu has less than uh, seven cards in his hand, like maybe three or four, and that's just it. Let's go. 20k. Yeah. 30, 40, 50. Can he get out of 50? I mean, two super combos gets there? No, no, uh, that's it. I was too hopeful. I was too hopeful. Giovanni wins with Topku. Defeats Fused Zamasu, guys. So, uh, yeah. It was, it was nice to dream. It was definitely nice to dream. Uh, I guess we'll get trawling through the deck list again to find something else which is undefeated, which isn't top coup, Damien. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll get to work.